Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 82 Bumblebee movie, Ratchet. Now, I just got Ratchet in the mail today from Entertainment Earth, along with the rest of the Studio Series Bumblebee figures, and I cannot wait to check him out. He looks awesome. Very unique look for Ratchet. So taking a quick look at the packaging, Transformers, Studio Series 82, Bumblebee movie, Ratchet there behind the plastic, some great looking artwork of Ratchet right there, this side of the box, a close-up of Ratchet's face, Studio Series 82. Back of the box, you've got Ratchet's unique looking ambulance mode, his robot mode, and a picture of the backdrop. The side of the box here, another picture or artwork of Ratchet in robot mode. So now, without further ado, let's get this doctor opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. I just wanted to point out real quick that all of these Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Deluxe figures all have the same backdrop. It's this Cybertronian battle scene with the bridge. So 80, 81, and 82 all have the same backdrop. The more you know. Now, once you get Ratchet all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated, and that's it. These are not easy to follow at all. He also comes with his Cybertronian stethoscope. So, got that going on. It actually looks like quite a powerful stethoscope. And then, of course, you've got Ratchet himself. Now, right out of the packaging there is an issue with Ratchet, at least mine. I mean, check this out. This figure has looser hips than Shakira. Oh shit, sorry. Now, aside from that, Ratchet looks great and is a spitting image of how he looked in the Bumblebee movie for all three seconds he was in it. They broke into the front lines. He's got a great face sculpt with actually some decent light piping right there. I always appreciate a figure with good light piping. Nice paint applications up there for the crest, silver face, got some red accents up there on the shoulder, some gray here on the forearms. Love the chest. Usually I'm not a big fan of translucent plastic, but it looks really good on Ratchet there all, with all the different angles. I love that. That actually looks really good. It's got an Autobot symbol right there. Red for the abs. Moving on down. Lots of great sculpted detail all over. A little bit of gray down there on the calves. He's got faux wheels here on the outside of the leg with the real vehicle wheels there on the inside and red accents around the ankles. As far as articulation is concerned, Ratchet's head is on a ball joint, can look up, can look down, do a complete 360 if you wish. The arms can do a complete 360 as well, but they are going to hit this little back panel right here if you're not careful. There's also a bicep 
rotation, bicep bend, arms can go out, they can go in. There is no wrist rotation. There is a little bit of an ab side to side, ab crunch with ratchet and waist rotation. Hips you saw, very loose, legs forward, legs back, out and in. There's also a rotation right there at the thigh, knee bend and ankle tilt. So lots of articulation for this guy. Now let's bring in his stethoscope. And yes, I know it's a gun. I'm just being me. Gun looks really good. Big old massive firepower here for Ratchet. You can put it in his hand as so. Pegs right in there. So Ratchet is all armed and ready for battle. Or you can store it on his back. He's got a square port right there that you match up with that square peg on the gun. And there you go. So Ratchet can store his weapon so he can work on some Autobots. Now let's get Ratchet transformed into his vehicle mode. Now the first thing you're going to do is remove the weapon. If you have that attached, and go ahead and place that to the side. Now take his fists and fold those up into his forearms. Flip the figure around and unpeg these panels here on the back. Now you're going to lift this section here up over his head and then unpeg this section here at the waist and just pretty much unfold ratchet like so. Now, down here on the feet, you're gonna take the feet, fold those up into the shins like so. Then you're gonna take the legs and rotate them at the thigh just like that. Take the real wheels and rotate these forward. So you've got this little peg right here facing front. Go ahead and do that here for the other one as well. And now what you want to do is kind of put Ratchet in a sitting position as you fold the feet up. So the feet are going to kind of go up over his waist plate. So when you turn him around, make sure you got this little section right here facing up. So this is actually going to be the bottom of the vehicle now. Now you're going to rotate this section around here, bringing this up. So you've got this little circle section here now facing forward as well. Bring this section here out and over. And this is going to peg in right here to these little slots right below the ankles. There's two translucent pegs right there. If you see them, go ahead and get those pegged in. Sometimes easier said than done. And now once you have that pegged in, the front of the vehicle is done. And I discovered earlier that Ratchet has a hidden third mode. If you extend these sections out right here, rotate that around, there is Ratchet's flight mode. I am just kidding, of course. But I wouldn't be surprised if all my 3D printing buddies can't figure out a way to make that something. So there you go. Ratchet in shuttlecraft mode. So let's go ahead and finish transforming Ratchet. Now you got him looking like this. Go ahead and fold that down like so. And then you're going to bring the panels to the side. And this is actually proves to be difficult sometimes. He's got this peg right here. You want to line it up right there if you see that so go ahead get that pegged in it alternates with this figure every time i transform him sometimes it's easy to pop in other times it is not so once you get that pegged in go ahead and line this all up and my wheel moved you want to make sure that little peg right there lines up so you can peg it into that side panel and we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Get the arm out of the way. Fold this forward. It's a little tight because once you get one side pegged in, it makes it kind of difficult to get the other side in. So that's pegged in and good to go. Now you've got the arms here. And if you look, there are little pegs on the arms right there that are going to line up to those slots there on his feet. So just get those lined up 
and pegged in place. They all make sure everything is tabbed together securely. And there you have Ratchet in his vehicle mode. And that is actually a pretty cool looking vehicle. I love the front. Like I said, I just really dig that look with the translucent windows. And just like the others, he rolls good enough if you can get those arms to peg in nice and tight. They do tend to pop out, so you want to watch for that. Now let's see. We'll go ahead and grab his gun, and you can peg that in right here on top of the figure. And now we have some type of combat battle ambulance, and I dig it. That looks really, really cool, aside from the clipped-on wheels. I really wish they would get rid of these clipped-on wheels, but I dig it. This is a really cool-looking Cybertronian vehicle, and lots of nice molded details all over it. You know Toy Hacks is going to do something really special for this guy. So there you go, guys. There is Ratchet in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 82 Ratchet with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Ratchet, Siege Ratchet, and Earthrise Ratchet. Now aside from some loose hips, Studio Series 82 Ratchet is another great deluxe figure that finishes up a really good line consisting of Studio Series 80 Brawn, and Studio Series 81, Wheeljack. Now, originally, as I stated before, I had no interest in getting these Studio Series figures, but the Bumblebee movie ones have absolutely killed it. Ratchet's robot mode looks great. The transformation is fun once you figure it out, and I really dig his alt mode. And for you customizers out there who have always complained that we've never got a proper Cybertronian mode Wheeljack. I want to see one of you guys take Wheeljack's head, put it on Ratchet's body, and there you have, with a little bit of paint, the van mode from season one of the original cartoon show. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 82 Ratchet. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 82 Bumblebee movie Ratchet belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Studio Series fan or a fan of Ratchet, absolutely, I love this little figure. He is so cool. The robot mode looks amazing. The transformation is funky, and the vehicle mode is awesome. I really dig it. My only complaint with this figure, of course, is this. The legs and hips are just ridiculously loose. He actually had a hard time standing in some shots for the video, so that's disappointing considering the other two Studio Series figures that he came with were great. I mean, they were awesome with very tight joints, and I couldn't be happier. This guy is a floppy mess, but that's nothing a little floor polish won't fix. Now, question. Would you guys like to see a video on how I use floor polish to fix a loose figure like that? Let me know in the comments. Still, that being said, if you see a Studio Series 82 Ratchet on the shelf, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed, and hopefully yours won't be as loose as mine. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and i got to give a huge shout-out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!